When private demand collapsed after the financial crisis, the government came in and propped up the economy. With almost 15% economic growth in Singapore last year, the recovery is now more than complete. So there is no need for stimulus measures. If anything, we need to be watchful of overheating risks and rising inflationary pressures as the labour market tightens and capacity constraints become more binding. With a deluge of cheap money making everything from commodities to real estate more expensive, analysts expect further tightening measures from the Monetary Authority of Singapore or MAS. So MAS is going to be on top of this uh, and, and contrary uh, to you know what may have been uh, the, the, the consensus six, eight months ago, there will not be a need to recant on uh, tighter monetary policies. If there is going to be any policy change, uh, the risk is that MAS might do a one-off uh, tightening move to ensure that inflationary expectations remain an uh, well anchored. Finance Minister Thaman Shanmugaratnam said in Parliament today that inflation is expected to rise further in the first quarter of this year before it starts to moderate. Still, some analysts expect inflation in 2011 to exceed 3%. And with the 2011 Singapore budget just around the corner, some analysts say that those in the lower income brackets should be given more help to cope with rising costs. Well, I guess the government can do some of the income transfers, especially uh, those going to the lower income households and uh, the elderly as well. So in terms of the area of like education as well as healthcare, um, there is some scope you know, for uh, government transfers and uh, you know, top-ups uh, into the various accounts. Going forward, Singapore's economy is expected to grow at a more normalised single-digit rate in the year ahead following last year's performance, which Mr Iswaran termed as exceptional.